Hello and welcome to this morning's lesson which is simplifying algebraic expressions. So, um, first of all, let's have a look at what do we mean by simplify. So, how do we simplify something that looks like this? So, here we've got 4a plus 3a, and we're trying to simplify this, okay? So, it makes sense if I've got 4 lots of a plus 3 lots of a, that should be 7 lots of a. And, and with this, it, it does make perfect sense because we've got 7 lots of something. So we've got 4 lots of something plus 3 lots of something, which is equal to that 7 lots of something. So this here is example 1. Title today is Simplifying Algebra Expressions. This is actually called Collecting Like Terms, if you want to put a little side title to that one. So example 1 there. So let's go do some more examples. So here we've got, this is example two. So here we've got now 3x plus 7x minus x. So with this one here, the first thing that's probably worth noting is the fact that we've got this minus x and there's nothing in front of that. So what does that actually mean? Well, if you've got x on its own, from convention, what it means is that we've got one lot of that. So this would be take away one lot of x. So if I've got three lots of x plus seven lots of x, that's equal to ten lots of x. So these two. Take away one lot of x, this is going to be equal to nine x. Okay, let's have a go at the next one. Example three. So here we've got 3a plus 4b plus a minus 2b. Now notice here, we've got a's and b's and they're not the same, so we can't add those together. So we've got to just think about those separately. So if I've got 3 lots of a, plus, remember, there's no number in front of that, so we just write it as 1 lot of a. Well, this is equal to 3 lots of a plus 1 lot of a, which is equal to 4 lots of a. So then I've got 4 lots of b take away, now it's always the symbol which is in front of that, okay? So 4 lots of b take away 2b which is equal to plus 2b like so. And that's that answer done. So with these ones here, um, it's worth noting that we, it's always the symbol which is in front of these terms, okay? So that's that's really important. So let's have a go at some of these ones here now. Now, I want to talk to you first of all about um, collecting like terms and, and about what a term is. So they have to have the same amount of um, letters and the same power as well. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I look at this first question here, so this one here is example four. Now in this first one here, we've got x cubed plus x squared plus x squared plus x. So the only ones which are the same in this one here are this x squared and x squared because x cubed and x are completely different. They have to have the same power, okay, and be the same letter, okay? So here, these are the only ones you can simplify. So this is going to be equal to x cubed, because nothing simplifies with that. Now, if I've got 1x squared plus another x squared, what have I got? Well, I've got 2x squared, so that's how it works. So here I've got 2x squared, like so. And then I've got this last x on its own. Remember, that's just 1x. And that's that example done. So the only ones we can simplify here are the x squared and the x squared. Now, notice here that we're adding these. In a second, we're going to be looking at multiplying these, which is completely different, okay? But we'll talk about that a little bit later. So that first one... The first middle two are the only ones we can simplify. So let's move on. Let's have a go at this next example. So we're now on example five. 
So here we have x squared y plus x cubed minus x squared y plus x squared y. Now the best way to think about this is that these have got different like names, let's say. So here, which ones of these are the same? Well, the ones which are the same, well this x cubed, three lots of x cubed, there's nothing here which else which is x cubed. Now we do have this x squared y, take away an x squared y, and then add another x squared y. Notice I'm saying x squared y, because that's like the name. So if I've got one x squared y, let's circle these ones. I've got one x squared y, take away an x squared y, and add another x squared y. So I've got one x squared y, take away an x squared y, Add an x squared y, we have one, take away one, add another one, that's equal to just one x squared y. So there's nothing that simplifies with this one, so this is just the three, um, three x cubed, and then I've got one x squared y. So let's have a go at the next one. We've got uh, example six now. So here we've got 3x squared plus 4x minus x squared plus x minus 3. I'm going to start using different colours pens now because it's starting to get a little bit more complicated. But it's still the same thing. You've got the name and you've got the amount which is in front of it. So I've got 3x squared, 4x's. Minus 1 x squared plus 1 x t minus 3. So this 3 is completely separate, that's just the number. But what we do have is the x squared. So let's deal with that one first. I'm going to circle this one here. Notice I'm circling that symbol which is in front of the name or in front of the term. So here I've got 3 x squared, take away 1 x squared. Well, they've got three of something, take away one of something, I'm going to have two of that thing. So I've got two here, two x squared. Three x squared, take away two, sorry, take away one x squared is two x squared. So here, the next one, I've got four x's, plus, notice I'm putting my um, line under that symbol in front as well, plus another x, well, if I've got four x's, plus another x, that's equal to 5x. And the last little part here is this minus 3, and that's on its own, because there's no, no, no kind of name on that, no term on that. So we just leave that one, it's just minus 3. So notice we're collecting the things which are the same. Now let's have a look at this next one. Then I want you to remember you should be getting all of these questions down. The only way to learn maths is to do it. So do make sure that you're getting all of these questions down. So the next one, example, example seven. I know there's quite a lot of examples here. but There's lo so many different variations of this and it's important we get all these examples down. So here we've got three xy, that name is xy, plus 3y, the name of that is y, plus 2, plus 1. Now you might be tempted to try and put these together, but here I've got 3xy's and here I've just got 3y, so I'm not putting those together, those two stay separate. The only thing I'm simplifying this is the numbers, so plus 2, plus 1. So here I'd have 3xy plus 3y, and then 2 plus 1 is equal to plus 3. Brilliant. So, um, let's have a go at the last little question here. I am actually probably going to add another one here, because I think I feel as if there's one that I want you to think about. So here we're now on example 8. Again, I know there's lots of examples, but make sure they go down in your notes. Example 8. So here we've got 
Um, 8x squared minus 3x minus x squared minus 4x. Now, what we've got two different names here. The first name, or the first term, I'm using the word name just because I'm trying to make it a little bit easier for you to understand, but they're actually called terms. So here, the first term or name is this x squared, and this is, I've got 8x squared, take away 1x squared. So if I've got 8x squared minus 1x squared, x squared is equal to, well we know that's equal to 8 of something, take away 1 of something is going to be 7 of that something, so it's 7x squared in this case. So, next up, we've got, um, here we've got now, minus 3 x minus 4x. Now you've got to be really careful with this. Notice I said here that I'm always underlining the symbol underneath, so the symbol before it. Because this is all about when I'm dealing with negative numbers and everything always gets tricky with negatives, but it's all about where am I starting and what am I doing. So here I'm starting at minus 3. And what am I doing? I'm taking away another 4. So if I start at minus 3, take away another 4. Well, I'm starting at minus 3, take away another 4. It's going to be minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. I said that wrong. Sorry, start at minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. I'm starting at minus 3, I'm taking away another 4. So start at minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So here I've got minus 3, take away 4 is equal to minus 7x. So here I'm just going to make it really clear, x squared minus 7x. Starting at minus 3, taking away another 4. So here we've got the answers to all of those. Now, I'm just going to do this last little question because there is something, a common mistake that loads of people make. Here I've got 9 minus 3x plus 2x. Now, this kind of, this deals with um, the thing that I was just talking about. Where am I starting? What am I doing? So, first of all, 9 hasn't got a term, so it's just a number, so I'm leaving that on its own. The things that have got... Um, letters or names or terms and we've got minus 3x that's the term plus 2x that's another term so I've got minus 3x plus 2x so where am I starting and what am I doing well I'm starting at minus 3 here this is where it's telling me I'm starting and then I'm adding 2 so if I'm starting at minus two, 3 adding 2 it's going to be minus 2 minus 1 so here, I end up with minus 1x. So minus 3 plus 2, the 9's on its own. So here we have minus x. And a lot of people with this, the common mistake I'm going to tell you before we do it, is people do this. 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 5x. 9 minus 5x. That's the mistake that people always make. Okay? They see the numbers, they just add them together. You can't do that. You've got to think about where am I starting? What am I doing? Okay? Where am I starting? What am I doing? And you're starting at minus 3 and you're adding 2. Okay? So minus 3 plus the 2 is equal to minus x. Now, minus x because it's minus 1 of that x. Okay, so, um, what we're going to move on to now is we're going to move on to multiplying. I am going to give you a chance to have a go at some of these at the end, but I want us to start thinking about multiplying. Now, I'm just going to go through a load of these questions, okay, get all of these down, maybe write multiplying as a side title in your notes, so multiplying.
here we've got multiplying. So in algebra, it says here, and it's the same as always, we don't like that time symbol. Instead, we just put numbers next to each other, and that means times. So when we had 3x before, that means 3 times x, 3 lots of x. If I have 7x, that means 7, sorry, 7x means 7 lots of x. If I've got 8xy, that means 8 times x times y, 8 lots of x, lots of y. Okay, so let's just go through, and I'm just going to do all of these questions, and you'll see a gradual pattern as you go along. So, we also like to put things in alphabetical order, um, just to make things a little bit easier, so we don't have everything always messing around. So here we've got the first one, remember to get all these down in your notes, the only way to learn maths is to do it. So x times y is equal to xy, next to each other like that. The next one y times x, because we like it in alphabetical order, x, y, exactly the same. The next one, x times by 2. Well, we always put the number first, we wouldn't put x2, because in maths numbers are more important. So here we'd write x times by 2 is going to be 2x, like so. so. That means 2 times x. This one's a little bit different. Because when I'm doing x times x, that's not the same as x plus x. I'm going to just make a little note of that here. This is the same as x plus x, which is equal to 2x. Okay? x plus x is equal to 2x. x times x is equal to x squared. When you times something by itself, you use the power. Okay? x times x is x squared, x plus x, this is your start example here, because this always comes up, they always try and trick you with that, x pl plus x is 2x, x times x is x squared. So next up, x times by xy, well I'm times in these now, so it's gonna, it would be x xy, but I know when I'm times something by itself, it's going to be x squared y, like so, x times x, x squared, times by y, we put the y there. The next one, y times x, y. Well, I'll deal with the things in alphabetical order first. I've got an x there, only one of them, so it's just going to be an x. y times y is going to be equal to y squared, like so. Remember to get all of these down, okay? So the next one, 2x times by x. Well, 2 times x is, um, we just, well, sorry, if we've got 2 times anything, we're just going to have that 2. x times x is going to be equal to x squared. Okay, let's make things a little bit harder now. Now we're dealing with 2xy times 3xy. So 2xy times by 3xy. So we deal with the numbers first, 2 times by 3, which is equal to 6. x times by x is x squared. y times by y is y squared, like so. Be careful with this. Notice that when I'm doing this, if I've got here 2xy plus 3xy, we think of these as names, so I've got 2 xy's plus 3 xy's, this is equal to 5 xy's, okay, with that one, you've got 2 lots of something plus 3 lots of something is equal to 5 lots of something, here, it's different, okay, when I'm timesing, you must times the letters, so x times x is x squared, y times y is y squared, and that's where people get confused on these questions here, so let's have a go at this last one here, We've got 3xy times by 3yz. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. x, we've just got x. There's nothing else there, so it's just going to be x. y times y is y squared. And then we times it by z, so we've just got the z. And that's how we multiply. There's lots of examples there. I've done loads of examples there. You, the thing is, you've got to be careful with knowing the difference between multiplying 
and addition, they're completely separate things. With addition, we're thinking about it as a name. So 2x plus 3x is 5x's. When you're doing 2x times by 3x, we've got to times them, and then we're times in the to the x's to get the powers. So 2 times 3 is 6, x times x is x squared. So let's just make sure we're checking all these. So, next up. So we're going to test now. What I'm going to say is pause now, have a go at these questions, check that you understand them. I'll make it big so you can see it. Pause these now for a second. I will go through these in a second. Okay, let's very quickly go through these. So here is a very clear, do you understand the difference between addition and times? Sorry, yeah, between addition and multiplication. So the first one, 3x plus 3x, well here I'm thinking about the name, I've got 3x's plus another 3x's, which is equal to 6x's. Next one, 3x times by 3x, now this is different, 3 times by 3 I know is 9, x times by x is x squared. Two different, very different techniques, but it's important that you know the difference between them. So this next one, 9y squared minus 7y plus 4y minus y squared. Well, I'm adding and subtracting these, so I'm going to be thinking about the names. So which ones have got the same term or the same name? Well, in this case, I've got 9y squared take away a y squared. Well, 9y squared take away a y squared is going to be equal to 8y squared. And this next one is the trickier one because I've got this minus in front of there. So here I've got minus 7y plus 4y. Well, if I'm starting at minus 7, I'm taking away, sorry, I'm adding 4. So starting at minus 7, adding 4. So minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3. Added 4. Okay. So minus 7 plus 4y is equal to um, minus, minus 3y, like so. Okay, so let's check that one. Absolutely brilliant. Next up, we're dealing with 7ab times by b. Well, I'm timesing by this, so I'm not thinking about those names. I'm just thinking about multiplying the powers. The only thing I've got here is the b. So it's going to be 7a, b times b is b squared. Okay, last little one. Here I've got 8qr squared times by 3qr. Well, I can deal with that 8 times 3, which is going to be 8, 16, 24. That's fine. Q times Q is Q squared. Now, R squared times R, well, we haven't dealt with that yet, but R times R is R squared, times by another R, so R squared times by R is R cubed, like so. Brilliant. So, what I'm going to say now is have a go at these questions here. So have a go at these questions, pause now and have a go at these. Okay, I'm going to put the answers up, so mark these in green.
Okay, thank you for watching Simplifying Algebraic Expressions. Remember to make sure you're having a go at these questions because the only way to learn maths is to do it and have a wonderful day.